Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to find the limit of functions with square roots. There are four steps you should follow when trying to find the limit of these functions. First, try plugging in x to see if you can find the limit. This might lead to a limit of an indeterminate form. In that case, we go to step two, rationalizing the function. We can't factor the function, so we will try to get rid of the square root by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. Next, simplify. See if there are any terms to be simplified or if there are any terms you can cancel out. And finally, plug in the value for x again. This will hopefully give you the limit. Let's see an example. We have the limit as x approaches 2 of the square root of 2 plus x minus 2 all over x minus 2. We'll try plugging in 2 in for x. This gives us 0 over 0 and indeterminate. That didn't work so we'll go to the next step. We see that there is a square root in the function which makes the function look a little ugly and a bit complicated. So let's get rid of it. We keep in mind the identity a minus b times a plus b equals a squared minus b squared. We multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. Next, we simplify. This equals x minus 2 over x minus 2 times the square root of 2 plus x plus 2. We can see that we can cancel out the x minus 2, so we'll do that. This simplifies even more to 1 over the square root of 2 plus x plus 2. Now we can try plugging in the value 2 for x again. This simplifies to the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 fourth, which is 1 fourth our answer. Finding the limit of functions with square roots can sometimes be hard and require practice. So for more help on the topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.